Tonight we're giving you an action plan to go from zero to millions, and we're busting some huge myths along the way. The next myth schedule for demolition is the idea that it takes forever to make millions. Dawn, John, and Laura are back, and joining me now is an old friend of the show, Cameron Johnson, author of You Call the Shots, a man who started 12 companies. By the time he was 21, you made your first million before you're out of high school, you pissed me off. So, uh, so what's the key to doing it faster? I know there's no one shortcut, but what's the Cameron keys? Well, I think one of the most important things is to put yourself out there. It's the first chapter in my book, but I think it's also the first thing any entrepreneur needs to do to actually get started. Because once you get started, everything else is easy. What, how, give me an example of how old you are and an example of you putting yourself out there. Well, I was eight years old, and I had just seen the movie Home Alone 2, and I decided to write a letter. By the way, I was 40 when I saw Home Alone 2, <laughs> but go on. Right. I decided to write a letter to Donald Trump because Macaulay Culkin's stayed in his hotel, the Plaza, and I decided to just beg my parents, please take me to New York City. I want to be like Macaulay Culkin. Finally, my parents agreed, and my, if you get straight A's this entire school year, it was the fourth grade, so right. I did it, of course. <laughs> if you get straight A's, then we'll take you to New York City. When I found out that we were going to be staying at the Plaza, I sat down and I hand wrote a letter. Dear Mr. Trump, you probably don't know who I am. <laughs> of course not. My name is Cameron Johnson. I'm eight years old. And the only thing I want to do is I want to see the suite where they filmed the movie. And sure enough, I didn't tell my parents. Um, because I didn't want you know, them to either judge me or say you shouldn't do that. And then the other thing is, too, I didn't know how to address the letter as far as the envelope. So I just wrote Donald Trump, the plaza, New York City. No zip code. It was like writing to Santa Claus. <laughs> and I never knew if he got it. But when we arrived at the hotel, the receptionist leaned over and she said, you must be Cameron. And obviously my mom's freaking out because she didn't know how this lady would know who Cameron is. She said, well, Mr. Trump's arranged for you to stay in the suite the entire time you're here. And he appreciates you so much writing to him. And, he, you know, he, he uh, gave me a few surprises, too. So that's kind of a, an example of myself putting myself out there. Just put yourself there. out there. Fourth I love it. I'll remember that. Donald Trump, the plaza. <laughs> John, you said people don't realize how fast they can make it. You did it by 30. What are the keys to doing it fast? You know what's interesting, Donnie, is when I was 22, I wrote down a goal that by the time I was 45, I would be a multimillionaire with a net worth of $3 million. I had no idea how to do it. I was selling real estate at the time because I dropped out of high school. By the time I was 30, I had built my first business to a billion dollars in sales, and it became a multimillionaire. And so I put the vision down first of what it is that I wanted. Then I found the steps, and the steps came to me, and the opportunities came to me of how to achieve it. So you're, what you're saying is basically... Put that. Say, you know what? I'm going to do it by 32. I'm going to, I mean, put, kind of really challenge yourself. I, I love that. I always used yep. to say when I was building the agency, we're going to be a billion by this year. Just put it, put the stake in the ground. Yep. Laura, technology, how we're obviously living in a different world with the Internet now. We hear obviously every day on this show how I, you know, I learned this, I learned this on the Internet. How we're, that's an example of how people can use technology to cut out years from the process, so um, to speak. There's a million ways decades, to use right. There's a million ways Wait, to cut decades out. Any more Giants Patriots analogies that you can bring up? Well, the way Tyree caught the Bite pass me, on his tech, helmet right. is shows that you could do it one-handed. Okay, that's it. Every week you keep bringing those in. I'm sorry, technology, cutting out the years to make a million. Okay, well, there's, a, there's two things here. And the first, I think one of the most exciting things is the fact that you are open to a wider pool of people who might lend you money for your business. So you can go to a site like Prosper.com or Lending Club or Zopa.com where individuals are willing to lend money to entrepreneurs and work out a deal there. Um, the other way to do it fast with technology is, you know, in the past where you had to come up with a whole marketing and, sorry, advertising. You, you, <laughs> could, <Marketing> advertising. <laughs> <laughs> you could start with an email blast, right? You've got all those emails in your system. Start with an email blast. Let people know about your business. The other thing is you can hire people to do things for your business by taking a global view. You go to a website like guru.com and get people across the world to bid on creating your website. So you lower your cost that way too, get started right away. Yeah, theoretically, we live in a world now where you have a thousand coworkers to begin with in, in every area when you think about it. Karen, you obviously started small in fourth grade and so on. <laughs> you say starting small is, is actually an advantage. Give me an example of starting small and how anybody can do it and how that actually helps in speed, so to speak. Well, I started my first business as a small printing business when I was in the fifth grade. And I started with $50 and simply a computer and a printer. And I think because I hadn't gone through all of the lessons and maybe graduated business school or anything else, I mean, I hadn't graduated elementary school, I hadn't been taught to think inside People the box. People like, smack you around. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> no, but I'm starting to feel no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> we love you on this show. But, 
but, but I, I started to, to realize that I hadn't been taught necessarily to think inside the box. So it allowed me to think outside of the box. But I think starting small is important because, you know, the difference between your business being profitable or showing a loss is only one dollar. So you have to watch your expenses. But I think when you start small, it's a lot easier for you to focus on your dreams and your goals and to focus on growing the business over time. Speaking of growing the business, Dorn, and this is kind of counterintuitive. You said as soon as you opened up your first karate studio, mm -hmm. you were thinking about the expansion. And I was. think about expanding first, but let me challenge on that. Obviously, that works, mm. but isn't that wow? I, I got to focus on this, but you're saying no. Why are you doing that? Be thinking out there. Well, I wanted the the mission to inspire self-esteem in every child to be able to get out there to many people. But when I started my first school, within nine months, I thought I'm going to have to sell my business. I can't handle it. I was doing too much myself. Again, I ha didn't have the business experience to know. Oh, I guess I need to start hiring people now. I can't come in at nine, do all the book work, teach all afternoon, mop the floors at night, and go home, you know, exhausted. So that's when I started to take those steps, those business steps. That you, okay. you need to take. I, I put on a little weight. I'm about to hire a personal <laughs> trainer, John. You say it's a good idea when you're starting to get a personal trainer. That can be one way to cut out years to the millions. How do you mean? Absolutely. Well, the reason we started our company, One Coach, was to help small business owners grow their businesses by shortcutting the system for them. So they don't have to figure out what they need to do. So when you hire a personal trainer, there's accountability, there's technique, there's getting you in shape the fastest way possible and the healthiest. Well, a small business owner doesn't have to figure out how to get over overwhelmed. We already know how to do that. We don't have to figure out marketing techniques and sales techniques for certain businesses. So by hiring people who play things you have to work at you can shortcut from where you are to where you want to be by years years and it's phenomenal the way you, that, that works Cameron you also talked about slicing years you have a set of words adapt or die how do you mean well I think it, it's important for any company to always continue to adapt not only to their competitors but also to the customers you know people's needs are changing and they're always changing and if your company whether you're a small business you're an entrepreneur or you're a fortune 500 if you don't continue to adapt your business will die you also talk about being the entrepreneur you want to be. <laughs> well, I think that's how I kind of end my book, but it, and it's kind of a happy, feel-good message. It's cheesy, but at the end of the day, why do you want to be an entrepreneur? So do it for the right reasons. And, it, and I have this saying, if you chase the money, the money will always run out. But if you chase the skills and the knowledge, the money will always come to you. Absolutely. Laura, any other tips of cutting out years that you can't get there fast? Well, I think one of the most obvious ones right now is if you have an expertise in a company and you want to launch your own company, start blogging because an audience will come to you because of your expertise. Those will be your first customers. All right, let's bottom line it for making the millions and making it fast. Number one, seems simple. Just put yourself out there. Get in the game. Number two, write down your goals. When you put a stake in the ground, you move faster. You're not going to get there unless you see where the stake is. Number three, Internet, 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 use it to accelerate, accelerate your growth. Email Blast is a great way to get the word out. All right, we've busted the three myths about going from zero to millions. Next, we'll put this action plan into motion and get a brand new company on track to make big money in our one minute to millions. Next, can this American dreamer go from zero to millions selling an itsy bitsy fanny pack? We'll find out in one minute to millions. Donnie, please help me take the spy belt from zero to millions.